viewer, D.H. Craft, that I actually show how to plank the sides of the ship. And after we're thinking about it, he's correct. So this is how I do it on this ship. These are thinner than on a full-size ship. So you can actually do it without tools, but I recently purchased a tool, so I'll show that too. Step one is I do put uh, a small amount, however many I'm going to work on, so I've got probably six or eight here, in paper towel. I put it in a large baggie, and I put an adequate amount of water. So what I want to do is really soak that paper towel. So you can see that's soppy wet. And then I simply take it over and microwave. And I also add one cup of water. And I'll run that for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Basically, I just want that to get real hot, kind of steamy, but not actually a boil. So once you've got that hot, I'll let that just sit for a couple of minutes so that those wood planks soften up some. Okay, the first step is to put this side rail on. And before I realized, unfortunately I've already put it on, but I can show you how I did it. Um, again, I soak this, steam it, and it gets soft enough that you can actually make this bend without any tools on this particular model. Now on larger one you could not. And then I picked up these clamps recently from Harbor Freight and it's a Pittsburgh brand. There are 22 pieces spring clamp set and they worked amazing because the the head of it actually swivels. So I put super glue on the edge and I attach that first, put this clamp so it cannot pop out, and then I'll run super glue on the posts. You can see on the other side, on the face of each one of those posts, a dab of super glue. And then when I actually did it, I put one of these clamps on every one of these little posts as I worked my way down. And that held this very nicely in place. You might notice on this particular ship there's some electrical wiring. This is my final grandchild ship. It's for my oldest grandson who is currently taking flight lessons and dreams to be a commercial pilot of some type. So this, the name of this ship is Aviator and I've put some blue like landing lights on it. So that's what all the electrical wiring is. So for the front of the ship I need to have an angle and a bevel also and it's just uh, trial and error till you get the hang of it for me. So that gives me a nice point. What I do is I just glue the very first part. Now remember I've already sand sanded these down at an angle somewhat. So I'm going to super glue just the tip and get it in place. Sometimes I'll put it directly on the ship, sometimes I put it on the plank, but with this, I can put that right where I want it, set up, I'm going to start bending this by hand. So you can see how that's going to work. Then I'll come back and I'll sand all these things so it'll be even. I'll have to re do some repainting and, and staining. So now that I am pretty confident that that's how I want that to be, I can start super gluing the rest of it. Again, I've not used the crimping tool on this piece. I'll do that on the next piece. So what I usually do here is I will do every other one in super glue. 
I'll put the tacky glue on first and then every other with some super glue. I'm still going to be a, put a clamp to hold that in place so when I start bending it around it can't pop loose. So again, first round I use the tacky glue. Again, it's going to be every other I've also used these in the past, they work very well. And on this particular model, it already starts to twist under. And see, I may have to trim this right here. So I can just take this knife blade and just shave some of that off because I want it to fit right down in there. Okay. I know that's hard for you to see but I'll move it. So Maybe you can see how this is already starting to twist or curve. What I'm doing, I'm clamping those there and kind of holding the plank tighter up against this edge. And when I get to this end, <clears throat> because I've used a super glue, I can just hold this for a few seconds and hopefully it'll adhere. There's just not much to grab. Now I've gone to the other side so that the original side can dry some. I've cut this angle and really it's just keep cutting and cutting and trying until you get the angle you want. So once I can, I can go ahead and take this off. Once I get this to the angle I want and that's basically by putting it up and seeing how it matches up. Okay, now to use the bending tool, what I want to do is put this where it's going to go and get an idea. There's where the bend begins. So now I can take this tool and with the blade side towards the ship at about three quarters of an inch intervals. I'm going to try and squeeze, squeeze, I don't know if you can see, but it's putting indentations in. I'm just going to make sure I did it the right way. and then go in between the marks that you just made starting to make a natural curve. So I'll try a couple more. Again, this is the first time I've used this. So I should, so I shouldn't have to fight the wood quite as much because it has a little bit of a bend to it. 
Okay, again, I'm going to put the super glue just on the tip, just to get it started. Okay, I'm going to let that set just for a little bit to let that tip dry a little more, and then I'll do the same thing on this side. While that's drying, I've reversed this blade back and I have the sharp edge out. I'm going to see if it's just a matter of learning how to use it. So I'm going to estimate back here. You have to be very careful or you will cut that plank all the way through. So it might just be getting to learn how to use it. Nope, see, I snapped it off. Well, I'll just keep trying. Because I could see the little lines in there, and I suppose that would help it bend. Okay, this has had a chance to set up. I did put some super glue on the first two uh, braces there. It's your option. You can use super glue the whole way. It's just that I want the extra time. So I combine both. Hey, okay, this is all dry. So I'll just repeat the same steps. If it seems like the first two are holding on there pretty good, I'll go ahead and work it on through. I'm about two thirds or three quarters of the way finished on this side. These are now dry. Probably one of the most important things is just take your time. And this is the rear of the ship and you can see that I didn't necessarily get these all straight and I'll, I'll cut this back part off after it's completely done. But then when I sand it, I will sand these so that they're uh, close to being even or smoothed out. And I don't know if you can tell, you can see where the curve is here. There's some uneven parts. But again, when I sand that, it'll smooth that out. Same thing with up here. Not exact, but again, this is a beginner's model, not an expert's. And then I'll just taper these as I get up here to this part. So, it's coming along. You can kind of see how that tapers in or those the, the pieces of wood kind of twist there. And when I get a finish on it, it'll look fine. There you can see right through here is pretty rough. So I'll show you the finished product also. Here's the back. You can, let me get this a little differently. In the back you can see how I've just let those all come out at different lengths. And as the other side comes around, I'll taper them off just like that. When I get to the rear of the ship, I'll take and I'll kind of clip it off at an angle. But then I'll take a file and on the underneath side, I will try and file this. And that way, it can rest right up against that flush. When I have fewer places to glue, I'm getting closer to the end, I, I'll use all super glue. Here's the shift after I've done some sanding on it. 
and I kind of like the dark lines there. Uh, so I've finished the planking and I've sanded, left some areas kind of rough you can see towards the front. I like the dark edges of the wood. I'll touch up the paintwork. Haven't finished the back yet. But that gives you an idea of planking when it's done on one of these entry-level wooden model ships.